And this is uh, which step our first aim for today. The down climb and then here up. Brutal uphill here, short and really steep. And here you can see North Goldfell and Goldfell, sheer wall. And this is uh, which step our first aim for today. Hi folks, we are today out again in the Isle of Arran here in Scotland and we are going for a wild camp um, probably to Castilla Biel with Robert from Muji Mountains and Paul from PA Adventures um, They are heading the normal way to Castilla Biel and we will meet them after we finish our bit here on our ridge line um, but I really fancy to do or to look at the Witches step and we are now just heading here this beautiful pass up to our first peak But I really need to admit that these views here on this ridge line are so far the most impressive of the whole Isle of Iron what I have seen. Really outstanding how beautiful it is. Really spiky. And here on top, I don't know if you can make it out, there's a wee gap between two stones. And this is actually the witch's step. It is not the whole crack. Um, so, yeah, it's misunderstood every so often. Absolutely stunning. I mean, it doesn't look like this, but we have a wee breeze. It should get a little bit stronger today, up to 40, 50 kilometers per hour, I think. And it's pretty cold, yeah? It's definitely, winter is coming, slowly but surely. So the wind isn't warm anymore. It's rather a cold breeze. But nevertheless, I mean, what for a beautiful view. And it seems like it's a bypass. It goes like here around and then here up. But I think we should go short to the peak. I will dump my rucksack here so I don't need to carry it. Then we go short up. Hopefully short. <laughs> yeah, it gets uh, definitely a bit more squirmly. Oh, it's so beautiful. Also good every so often to take the time to have a look back. 
usually I'm really washy and by myself. Yeah. And this is already the top. Oh wow. Absolutely stunning. It's better than I thought it would be. Um, beautiful. And down here, this is like the down climb. And then here up. But I'm definitely not um, climbing here down. Um, I get the recommendation from a person in the mountain rescue. <laughs> And just by the look, it's... No, definitely not. And now we look that we find the bypass. Here we can see how it goes in zigzags up from the north side. And then just... Here this wall up. And then we're almost at our um, aim, maybe for the day, maybe just... Uh, short stop it's amazing views to see it from here beautiful to be honest the path is not as obvious as I thought the bypass here I mean you can see it but I mean it's pretty straightforward you just need to head here to the Bieloch and then to our left up Okay, and this here is a crux, unbelievable, no, no way, even up I wouldn't do it with a rope, how it looks like, I'm honest, such a squinty rock, and he also is pretty well bent out, and the surfaces are slipping in our direction. This is for the proper amateurs. <laughs> so, and we are now just looking for a pass which leads up here. Yeah, I just needed to put short my um, poles away because it gets quite scrumbly um, and I would definitely not like to use at least one hand proper. So. So. Ah, here's a pass. Okay, dog. Yeah, but absolutely impressive. Absolutely beautiful and we are now just heading over here shuffling around the corner and then to our aim which we can see here just put out the trekking poles quick um, just such a nicer walking for me with the poles both just quicker um, so now here we can see the pass a bit better and we are now heading just here
Ah, ja. ja, here we go to the summit later proper. But there were people sitting on top. Um, and I think it ruins it somehow for others when you film it. So and we are going now to the other side. And because I've seen already Paul and Robert, so we have a look. Heidi ho! <laughs> yeah, and here is Robert putting his tent up. Paul is up here. Um, I looked further down there, but it was surprisingly windy. So I definitely go somewhere else. And I think maybe here is even a good spot. I have a calm night. <laughs> uh, but I need to admit I'm kind of knackered. Um, more, more exhausting than I thought it would be. But by far the best tour so far I've done um, on the Isle of Erin. A wee bit scrambling and amazing views. I mean, you've seen it. Absolutely stunning. So I have now a wee look. Yeah. Sunrise is here and sunset is over here but we just checked the forecast and it says tomorrow we might get some rain and the wind should come tonight from north northwest but right now it's coming definitely from this direction yeah i was quite wandering around um, to find the right spot but as you know it's never easy it's an important decision. Alright folks, that's me now set up the tent. Um, I will relax now a little bit, enjoy this amazing views here and see you later for dinner. And for dinner today we have a chicken curry with dehydrated chicken, some rice and some zucchini, paprika and onion, as well as some spices. Bon appétit All right, folks, that's me now in the tent. It's just kind of fresh outside, I'm honest. Yeah, it's like two or three degrees, and Robert said that the forecast said we get actually even frost in the night. So I will now sleep and see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning, folks. Yeah, it was quite a good night. A little bit windy in between, but nothing too bad. Uh. Sunrise is in half an hour, so I will eat now a muesli bar. Um, then I have a look how the boys are doing, what the plan is. But I had already a little peek outside here. And to be honest, it doesn't look too good. It's like foggy with the wind. Um, yeah, 
I don't know. We have a look what we're doing, step by step. Yeah, I just had a short banter um, with Robert and Paul, and they said as soon as it's bright outside, um, we should head. There's apparently fog, a little bit of rain, so not much to see, which is a pity because initially I really wanted to. Yeah, it is as it is. But now I'm slowly putting my stuff together. Um, sunrise is in 20 minutes. So that I'm ready for sunrise. To go at home. Or to the car. Beautiful day. <laughs> Well, time to take the tent down and put it in the rucksack. All right, folks, we are now packed up and we're heading down the direction um, in Shia War, but then probably to Glen Rosa. We will look how the views are, but I think I will wrap up the video here. And hey, see you next time. Bye.